Hey, what's going on, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten tag. Wie geht's dir? Welcome to another subscriber replay. This time we have Salemius of the SNRK clan and his E100. Salemius is a new uh, sub replay submitter. So let's see what he's got here. I do know how the game's going to turn out. He does have some slides for us to take a look at. And I'm really excited to watch this gameplay. This is the first time I've seen it. This is on Cliff, Standard Battle. It's a tier 10 game since the E100 is a tier 10 tank. So so right off the bat, I'm a little bit worried since we have... Whoops, wrong button. We have a lot of people going towards this middle area, maybe over towards the right. But we only have one tank destroyer and one heavy tank going to the 1 and 2 area. Wow, they got a ton of tank destroyers over there too. Oh, oh that sucks. That's a quick... That's a quick end to your game. Yeah, he's right. He's wrecked, all right. And just take notice, he does have heat rounds here, but he says he doesn't use them. Let's see if he's telling the truth about that. That first kill right off the bat there, though. No heat on that one. That was a nasty shot right there. And I'm really looking forward to the E100. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I heard a lot of not-so-good things about it. I think it's kind of a tank that you can love or hate. Whereas almost everything I hear about the E75 is just all, you know, sunshine and kittens. But with the E100, not everything is all that way. But for what I see about what's going to happen in this one, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Ooh, and a bounce. What's the what's this gun? What has he got on this bad boy? 235 pen, 750 damage. That's a pretty big smack worth of damage, isn't it? And just out of curiosity, what's the 334 pen 750 damage? Okay, and he's got uh, six cents on his commander. That's good too. Two two, kind of getting pushed around a little bit over there on that western flank. No arty on either team either. Uh oh. You want to see an E100 coming over that corner, do ya? I bet you he just blasted some heat into him there. The AMX 50, 50B. I bet you he's firing heat. The only thing I wish this. For some reason, this replay doesn't show. Uh oh. Ah, uh, he didn't. I don't know if he didn't connect there or what happened on that one. Now, obviously, he didn't connect. Because they would have said, you know, Aprala, or Aprala, or whatever it is. I don't know what that word is. And I know it means that you bounce, but I don't know what the technical uh, spelling is in German. But if you would have hit him, he would have had that. Oh, that's a nice side shot right there. Yeah, that's... You just can't do that. You just can't give him the side like that. I wonder what hit him with that, with that shot. Sounded like some sort of heat. Or HE round, I mean. Oh, that's a nice target. Back end of a Luva. Yeah, for some reason, the, re the reload counter is not shown on this replay. I don't know if maybe the reload stuff isn't just working or... Oh, man, if he gets a shot in his Waffentrager, this Waffentrager is going to have a bad day, and he's going to get it. There you go. Take your time. Oh. You know that there's all sorts of dead crew members and everything else going on in that one. Uh-oh. Watch that, dude. You don't want to take one from that Death Star. Yeah, he sees you. So yeah, it doesn't have the reload counter, so I'm just curious how long this reload is. If you do know, please put it down in the comments. I would appreciate it. Oh, that's a nice hit, but you gotta be... Angle. Careful. He's there on this rock. He, he can't get a shot into him. Yeah, watch out for that 50B. This guy's got great map awareness. You notice that? 
really, really good, great uh, map awareness. He's always, his head's always on a swivel, watching to see who's on his right, who's on his left, who's behind him, watching everybody, where am I located? There you go, get get that guy out of the game. See, look, he takes the 50B out, now he's already well aware that that's, oh, that's nice. That was a good angle right there, son. Ho oh, ho, that, that V, uh, FV215, that Death Star is going to be ticked. Yeah. Nice. That was a nice angle right there. Is he in here? Okay, he's just by himself. Good night. You see, you notice he just backs straight up. He doesn't turn himself to that IS-3. He just backs straight up. Well, nice roll, scumbag. Yeah. You got the Waffen triggered. If he fires heat into it, you're screwed, bro. There you go. Look at that. Moving his tank around. When you are in a situation like this, you always hug him like he's doing. This guy is an excellent... Excellent, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Excellent driver to, to maneuver, to put his tank in the best situations, the best areas possible, so that he bounces. Ah, uh, what's the... Like scraping, he's a very good at ang angling, what am I... Jesus. Ugh. I'm here all night, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, he's really... He did a couple of really great things in here. Did you see how well he was angling his tank all the time against the the IS-3? Whoops. Pushed a, pushed a button on my, pushed around button on my computer. Against this IS-3, did a great job angling it here. Uh, he did a great job angling it with like the 50B when he was going over those hills over there. He's always got his head on a swivel. You can learn a lot from this guy. He does a great job in this one. And you're going to see the statistics in just a second. But yeah, I'm really, I really like that one. And he got a little lucky there, that 215 skimming the, like the freaking hit the turret and just that round went ricocheting right off there. So you got to, yeah, you know, count your blessings there that he didn't get one right in that lower plate or something. But great gameplay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Hold on one second. Okay, so here's the first slide. Master Badge first class, so he did better than 90% of the other tankers with this tank. Look at that, 93, basically 94,000 credits earned. Phenomenal. High caliber there on the far right. 1,671 XP earned. You see all the tanks that he damaged or otherwise destroyed. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's see, I got a sort of by ex uh, sort of by damage dealt. He led the team with basically 4,000 more damage than anybody else. 7,183 damage, uh, three tanks destroyed, 1,114 XP earned. Next closest dude was the, the AMX 50B on their, on his team with 3,500. Opposite team was the Waffentrager with 3,700. So out of both teams... He had basically three or four thousand, but anywhere between three to four thousand more damage dealt than the next guy. So excellent game, man. He had a lot of damage there. And I didn't see him use one single heat round there either. I think he started at the beginning of the game with 15 and ended with 15. You know, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but he says he didn't use any heat. I didn't see him use any heat, but maybe my eyes fail me. Who knows? Let's move on to the final slide. Okay, so 13 shots fired, 12 direct hits, 12, 10 pens. So he only, he really only wasted three three shots there. Hits received 11, 6 pen, 5 non pen. Excellent beefy tank. And you know, as soon as anybody sees the E100, they're thinking gold rounds. You know, that's all they're doing is pumping gold into you. So, you know, that's to be expected. 
course, he is a premium player, so he got 93,892 credits earned. Auto repair the vehicle, 30,290 credits. Wow. It's a good day to have premium, is it not? To resupply the ammo, 15,000. So he fired 13 shots, so a little over 1,000 per round. Grand total of 48,482 credits earned. Very good job. Excellent game. And you know what? The craziest thing to think about this is he did 7,000 damage and he still was only Master Badge first class. He wasn't even an ace tanker. Phenomenal gameplay. You can learn a lot from this one just seeing how this guy kept his head on a swivel, was always aware of what was going on in the map, You know, not let himself get tunnel vision on a 50B. As soon as he was done killing the 50B, where's that, that Death Star? Oh, there's a Death Star. Got to move. Got to get myself situated for him. Always keeping his head on a swivel, seeing what's going on around him. Great map awareness. Phenomenal angling of the tank. Did everything he could. He, when he was up with that IS-3, went face-to-face -face with them. You know, when you're in a situation like that, especially with the German tanks and that, that lower plate is as weak as it is, when you're facing off like that, get up close and personal like he did with that IS-3. They'll bounce on you. They can't If they can't shoot that lower plate and they can't put gold into there or something, you know, Good night, Sally. It's, I don't know what else to say than that. It's what you got to do. So thank you again. I really am extremely happy that you sent that replay in to uh, to me for the for the channel. Much appreciative there. For all you guys out there, if you want to send a replay in, go to my channel page, click on the About tab. You find my email address on there. Go ahead and send me a link either to the Watt replays like this gentleman did, or you can go ahead and send me the replay itself. However, I do appreciate if you send me the Watt replay link it's a lot better for me. It makes it a lot easier for me. But, um, yeah, please like the video, comment, <clears throat> excuse me, and dislike it. If, you know, if you didn't like it, I don't know why you wouldn't like it. Maybe you were that Waffentrager. I could, uh, maybe you might dislike it then. But um, comment, you know, let me know what you think. Let, let Solemnius know what you think. If you thought he had a great, get, had a great game, and I'm sure he'd be more than happy to, bask in the glow of your praise and nice comments so and finally subscribe if you're not subscribed for more world of tanks action and other games as well thanks again Solemnius. much appreciative thank you for watching have a great day have a great week and i will see you next time take care bye